rain on the way. So get the raincoats ready. Get the kids raincoats ready. Uh, get them prepared. Put them on their uh, chair or desk as they leave home tomorrow morning. And might want to check the wiper blades too. If they've been, you know, dried out, not working right, maybe take it to one of the auto shops and they can put on those wiper blades for you. If you purchase the blades, most auto parts stores will do that for you. Monday night, here we are at 10 o'clock tonight. This model a little aggressive. I think in bringing some of the rain in here, we may have to wait a little bit later, maybe midnight, early tomorrow morning, but certainly brings the rain in here. Look at three o'clock in the morning. Hutspeth County, all the counties really seeing some rain where you see some yellows here, indicative or dark greens, indicative of maybe a little bit heavier pockets of rain. This is not going to be an all day heavy rain event by any means. We'll have some light pockets. We'll get a break, maybe a little moderate pocket of rainfall, get a break, and then it'll just be on the lighter side. But it continues to make its way off to the east and the northeast. The mountains, notice the color change here, likely to see some snow up there. They could be looking at several inches at least by tomorrow night, but you can see how the rain continues to lift to the north. Then we get a break. The clouds hang around. Certainly going to be overcast tomorrow. Then we get another pocket of energy that'll move through here. You folks in maybe the lower valley, Hutsmith County out there in Culberson County could be tracking some of the rainfall out there and it's not all over yet. Again, even into uh, Wednesday, we could see some light rain kind of linger into the area, although we will see more sunshine break out once we head into Wednesday. So once we head into Thursday, I think we really start to bring in some drier air and it looks good right now for your Thursday. So how much rain potentially could you be looking at? Well, this is our latest model run here. Midnight, we start to see is midnight tonight, maybe some accumulation occurring, but notice as we make our way into tomorrow morning, seven o'clock, maybe getting close to a half an inch of rain, a quarter of an inch of rain around parts of town. Then you can see some of the heavier pockets with this green here. Otero County, maybe sneaking into Doniana County. Look at Las Cruces, maybe upwards of about a half an inch of rain. Now this could change a little bit. We'll maybe get that new model run in here by ABC 7 at 6 or 10 o'clock. Give you a look here, but you notice Chaparral and El Paso. This is Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Look at that. A little more than a half an inch of rain potentially in there. How about snow in the mountains? Well, if you look, we can start to see maybe getting close to a half an inch of snowfall once we head into midday tomorrow. But then as we make our way into uh, Wednesday, notice some of the numbers here, maybe three and a half, four inches of snowfall potentially in here by your Wednesday night. So good for the skiers. They've been picking up some snow up there in Ski Apache. All right, temperatures in the 50s and 60s all across town. You folks in Van Horn hanging out at 60 degrees. So here's how things are looking overnight tonight, late tonight, 45. We'll start to see maybe some rain developing light rain by later on tonight. 56 degrees tomorrow. There it is. 70% chance of rain anticipated rain and clouds certainly going to be hanging around 43 overnight for you folks in Las Cruces. Your high temp tomorrow will make it up to 52 80% chance of rain for you folks there in Doniana County. All right, first alert day tomorrow, 56 degrees, 58 on Wednesday. 59 on Thursday, we keep it fairly sunny. Slight chance of rain in here on Friday, 60. And then notice those temperatures right around 60. Good bit of sunshine. This is good news on your Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday.